They get plugged into these churches. And they get discipleship. And they get they get leadership. And so they're not just making this commitment. And then they're like, well, what do I do now? Where do I go? Who do I talk to? They get plugged in with these, these youth pastors. So it's been awesome because we've been able to go back and play at these churches where these kids have come up to us and they showed us the scars on their hands of where they were cutting. They showed us um, their suicide notes of where they planned it in their life because they didn't feel like they had purpose. And now these kids are helping lead worship at the church. These kids are helping lead Bible groups at their schools, and it's just awesome. We're, we're so excited to be a part of it. If you'd like to know more, please come talk to us about the American experience um, back at our merch table. But the second part of Abandoned Heart is for you believers. How many believers do we have here tonight? Yeah. All right. A lot of times you, you say that, and then people are like, yeah, I believe, I believe. But we need to be bold about it. We need to, we need to be not ashamed about it. And I love you guys because y'all just you scream it out like your your favorite sports team just won. So that's great. That's awesome. Keep it up. And I want to let you know something. No matter where you're at, no matter what you're going through, God says over and over in His Word that He loves you. He says, "I will never leave you or forsake you." God has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of your lives. So I want you to repeat these two things after me. The first thing is, I have a purpose, and the second thing is. God has a plan. But when you say these things, I want you to scream it out like you just did. Can we do that? Yeah! So scream it out. I have a purpose! I have a purpose! God has a plan! God has a plan! I have a purpose! I have a purpose! God has a plan! God has a plan! Well, this next song we wrote is called It Was Love, and it's simply about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The one we're talking about, the one the pastor was talking about, the one everybody's been talking about tonight, the one we see Marshall to. Um, and this this song is called It Was Love. It's simply about his unconditional love of how when he went up there on the cross dying for our sins, things that we choose to commit over and over again, things that we're not perfect, we mess up, but God was up there and he chose to die for us. And it, it talks about how it wasn't the nails that held him to the cross. But it was his love for us. So this song is called It Was Love. Please worship with us. Thank you. 